Hi, looks like you wanna check out PvZ2 Alternate Universe, but might be having troubles with getting it to work. First off, Outverse, like most other PvZ2 mods, can only be downloaded on Android devices and PCs via Android emulators. In the future, we may support iOS devices as well, but that's uncertain. Now that we got that out of the way, to download the necessary files, find the download links in the video's description or in our Discord server, which I do recommend joining. If one link doesn't work for you for whatever reason, try using the other. In both, there are two versions of Outverse available, the only difference between them being the in-game frames per second. If your device is a weak one, you may want to pick 30 FPS for a more stable experience. Look at the screen now or in the description for timestamps to each part of this guide. Open the download link on your internet browser of choice. There, you will see the two APK files. Download the APK of your choice. In Google Drive's case, it will tell you that it couldn't scan the file for safety, but don't worry, Alvis is absolutely safe to play. Once it downloads, open it to install the app. Here, you may be prompted to allow your phone to install apps from unknown sources. Follow the given instructions to do so and then install the app. Now that the app is installed, it needs to download more files necessary to play the mod. Open the app with stable internet connection and it will download them by itself. You can pause the download for a while if needed or just let it run in the background. The download speed will depend on your own internet speed. Once the installation is complete, the game will open automatically and that's it! Enjoy Outverse! To download Adverse, or any Android app for that matter, on your computer, you'll need an Android emulator. The one I would recommend the most is Bluestacks, which to me is the most stable and easiest to understand. To download it, head over to Bluestacks website and make sure to download Bluestacks 5 over here and not the cloud-based Bluestacks X. Open the installer after it's downloaded and follow its instructions to get the emulator set up. Once that's done, you will have your emulator instance ready. And the very first thing you'll want to do is open Bluestack settings, go to preferences and turn off ads. Don't ask why it works this way. Open the download link on your internet browser of choice. There, you will see the two APK files. Download the APK of your choice. In Google Drive's case, it will tell you that it couldn't scan the file for safety, but don't worry, Alvis is absolutely safe to play. Once it downloads, look on Bluestacks' sidebar for the APK installation option. Click it and locate the APK file in your own files. This will automatically install the app. Once installed, Alvers will need to download more files necessary before playing. Open the app with a stable internet connection and it will download them by itself. You can pause the download for a while if needed or just let it run in the background. Once the installation is complete, the game will open automatically. And that's it! Enjoy Alvers on your PC! Whenever a new Alvers update releases, you will have to download the APK file again. When downloaded, simply allow it to update over the old one. That way, you won't lose your save file. Then let it download files again and you'll be good to go. If you want to switch from one APK to another for a different frame rate, for example, the same process will apply, except you won't need to sit through file installation again. If you plan to move devices and don't want to lose your old voice progress, you'll have to find your save data. You can do this whenever to have a backup just in case something ever goes wrong. 
recent Android updates have been making it more and more difficult to access internal files, but the file manager I found to be the most effective on most devices is Zarchiver. You can download it off the Play Store, just note that on emulators you'll need to log into your Google account first to enter that. Once downloaded, open your file manager and head to this file path. Android Data com.ea.game underscore pc2.ouse Files No Backup This file path will only exist if you have opened Alders at least once before. In here, locate two files, your pp.dat, this is your main save file for all accounts, and your active quests folder, which stores data regarding your ongoing travel log quests. Copy both the file and the folder and move them to a safe place. You can also transfer them to your computer from Bluestacks by moving them to this file path on the screen and then opening Bluestacks' shocked folder which is located in this path. If your device is not letting you install the APK file, then try looking into all settings related to installing unknown apps on your device. This varies from device to device. Google's Play Protect servers may also try to stop you from installing the mod, but don't worry, that's also a false positive. Make sure your internet connection is stable when Aldous is downloading necessary files. If you run into any of those issues on screen, try quitting the app and entering it again, or pausing and unpausing, or just try downloading when you're in a place with a more stable connection. Now, if you run into any of these things when downloading, don't worry about them, they won't impact the download or the game afterwards. Lastly, if you run into any other issues or you just can't seem to successfully download Alders at all with this guide, join our Discord server, we will be able to help you there. You may also try downloading the mod using the old method, the guide for which will be linked below. Congratulations, you reached the end of this installation guide and hopefully are now ready to play a great PvZ2 mod. We hope you enjoy your experience and would love to hear your thoughts and feedback on it. Cheers!